During the summer holidays, I really like picking up new books. And today I have three book recommendations for you. These are all 80s related in different genres. And first out is a pop music production by Phil Harding. And uh, just to recap, Phil Harding, he is the man personally responsible for uh, recording, mixing, and working on a lot of Stock Ake and Wartman hits in the mid 80s and 90s as well. Dead or Alive, Rick Astley, Kylie Minogue, Bananarama, etc. And if you remember a while back, I did a uh, book review on his um, From the Factory Floor, where he goes through all those uh, years working with Stock Ake and Wartman. So in this book, he goes really in depth on a lot of stuff he did in the 90s that translates well over into this uh, day and age as well. The um, boy bands, the pop music culture, the business side of things, and songwriting, uh, production, etc. Everything is uh, augmented by a lot of uh, uh, practical examples. So I find this book really fascinating, and especially because it goes... Uh, into a very detailed level on how it did work for East 17, if you remember those, Stay Another Day, probably their biggest hit. And uh, I just love reading books like this, so I highly recommend Pop Music Production by Phil Harding. Uh, I'll leave a link for you in the video description, of course. And another book that's been really fun to read is Synthesizer Evolution from Analog to Digital and Back by Oli Freke. And this might, on the surface, look like an encyclopedia of synthesizers, samplers, drum machines, and the evolution of those. But what's really interesting is that he's hand-drawn uh, sketches of every single synth in this book. In addition to uh, the hand-drawn sketches, he has also included some specs about uh, each of the synths, samplers, drum machine, etc. he has in the book. What year they came out, if they're analog, digital, uh, oscillators, etc. technical stuff, but so much fun to read. And um, yeah, I'll come back to this again and again. So I highly recommend you check out this book. Again, I'll leave a link for you in the video description. And the last book I want to recommend you read this summer, or winter if you're in another part of the world, it's summer here in Norway, is Not All Fairy Tales Have Happy Endings, The Rise and Fall of Sierra Online, as told by The Ultimate Insider. And The Ultimate Insider is, of course, the founder and CEO of Sierra Online, Ken Williams. And Ken Williams, he saw some real... 80s and 90s action with Sierra Online. And this book is um, a fascinating story. I'll just read from the back here. Once upon a time, in the time before Amazon, eBay, or even Google, there was a consumer software company started by a husband and wife team that dominated the charts of over nearly a 20-year period. Sierra Online should have lived forever. But it didn't. And uh, this is a truly fascinating book with uh, a lot of um, references, stories, anecdotes, King's Quests, Police Quests, Larry, you remember him, of course. And um, I've actually learned a lot from reading this book about how to manage my own uh, company, in a way, my daily chores doing a YouTube channel and... Um, showing off gear and synths and samplers and also, also at the same time working for clients to have to manage my time, micromanage my time. So this is actually both a fascinating story, but also a sort of um, guidebook for anyone working for themselves, trying to get things done. So I highly recommend this book, book on, uh, on every level, actually. So um, check it out. I'll leave a link for you in the video description as well. I'm Espen Croft and I am the 80s. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.